Hey, True Believers, it's Englantine here with a review of Aquaman and Jabberjaw. And you absolutely know that this was the one I was looking forward to most. Absolutely. How many times have I been praising Aquaman and Dan Abnett and the way they've been telling the story and how awesome the Aquaman book is? So you know when they're going to do a team-up of Hanna-Barbera characters, Jabberjaw in particular with Aquaman, you know I'm in on it, and then this happens. Now, okay, here's the thing. I found, uh, you know, I, I I say if it's in the books or if it comes or something really big, I'll talk about it. And here it is in the books. Granted, it's only in one scene, and I'm talking about the Antifa agenda. Now, this is weird because the story is okay. It's actually pretty good, and it's got a great sense of humor. There's a lot of good humor in this book, and it carries. It, it, it can take you through it. It's a fun book. It's an exciting book. And there's only two instances that just rip you right out of the story. Up until those moments, though, it, it's fun. But once you, once you get to the first one, once you get to the first Antifa moment, you realize you're kind of on the lookout for it. And it's, it's just like, why would you do that? Why would you put these, these modern-day real-world politics into the book and kind of derail it. And you understand that's what I'm talking about now. And that's the whole thing. Every other Aquaman book. Every other Aquaman book I'm talking about how great the art is. I love this uh, this homage to Jaws. The beginning of Jaws. There's so many good things I should be talking about. However, there are a couple of scenes that just took me right out of the book. Just like I think it would uh, quite a few people. Because we are just, you know, and this is freaking Jabberjaw meets up with Aquaman. It should be silly and fun. And what's worse, it's those kind of things that they could look at you and go, well, does that mean you're against inclusiveness? No, not at all. I just, you know, I, I came here for escape. I came here for fun. I came here to watch Aquaman team up with a talking fucking shark from the future. You see what I'm getting at here, Dan. You dropped the ball on this one, buddy. Not completely. Like I said, the rest of the story surrounding it is a lot of fun. The art is really good. But you just put in these two pieces. These two little little bit of pieces that just rips the reader right out of the story, right out of the moment. And that's all it needs. Or at least some readers. Some readers are going to be able to gloss right over. And, and you know what? I am jealous of you. I really am. Because I, I think otherwise this would be a really good story. It would be a lot of fun. But for me, like I said, it's good right up to a, a moment. And then it just kind of uh, pulled me out. And then I was on the lookout for it. And I, I just wanted to read a good Aquaman story. You guys know how much I love the Aquaman. I've said this many, 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 many times, and I'll continue to say it so long as the book is uh, is good. And I'm telling you, this is still fun. It really is. But if you are easily triggered, as I am showing myself to be today, uh, it you're you're going to be you're going to have those moments as well. And once again, there's only two. So anyway, what's the story about now that I showed that I was triggered and I'm bitching about really nothing? You see, as J Jabber Jaws comes to uh, Earth and he realizes, oh my gosh, this is not my Earth. And then they realize, wait a second, no, I'm in the past. And Aquaman and Jabber Jaw go into the ocean. They try to figure out what's happened. They get thrust into the future where they realize Ocean Master, not that Ocean Master, is teamed up with the Atlantans not those Atlanteans, as they realize they're actually in another dimension, are trying to destroy Aqualand, where humans and sea creatures live together. But the humans see themselves as above all the sea creatures. The Neptunes, the band that Jabber Jaws is in, wants to uh, protest. They're protesting that, and that's one of the things. They're hippies. They're self-acknowledged uh, self hippies who go around and they sing and preach about equality. That's the storyline. And that is actually kind of uh, what, what the cartoon was about, although the cartoon didn't shove it down your throat or anything like this. Um, and only in two parts of this story does it really shove, three, I would guess, really shove it down your throat. Otherwise, it's just there, and you can do with it what you want, and that's good. Uh, once again, art is great. The story 
except for the parts that pull you out or if you are easily triggered like I am. It's fun. It's in, it's entertaining. Um, once again, I think if you're not easily triggered, you're going to. And maybe it's just this time I read it. But anyway, it's average at best to me. Now, there's another story. Captain Caveman in the back. Uh, holy crap. What, what can I say about this one? Uh, let's see. What can I say about it? It's fun. It's short. It's simple. You have the wizard Shazam talking to the specter about courage being a modern day or heroism being a modern day invention rather than uh, lasting throughout time. And so the wizard Shazam goes back to the past and picks out a caveman who was about to die. Not only is he about to die, but he's about to die and get crushed by a mammoth. So as he says, he won't even leave fossils. So they pull him forth. And um, basically, it's it's a real short story. So there's not a lot that happens here. It's really a bunch of dialogue about heroism and uh, what it means. And can Shazam pick a good hero because he's 50-50, right? Because he picked uh, Black Adam and then... Captain Marvel. It is fun to get the story and such. You know, a modern day retelling of the origin of Captain Caveman and the Teen Angels. It really kind of hit a nostalgic spot because I, I love this cartoon. Man, I was a big Captain Caveman fan. Granted, now of course I'm not seeing him as the oval bit covered in hair with a big nose and he's drawn kind of realistically here, but it kind of fits. What can I say? It's entertaining, as I said. Um, and like, and like Aquaman, there is another place where you're pulled out of the story, but only because you're already watching it because of the Aquaman story, uh, just part, and it's there. It really is. Except it's one of those things. Like I said, if you go, hey, that's that's uh, I don't like that kind of politics in my comics. They'll say, are you, does that mean you're against or you're for this? And you know. Like I said, I just want to read a freaking caveman story that's supposed to be stupid and silly. Can we just have that, please? Otherwise, really, it, I like this story a little bit better than the Aquaman, just for the fact that it is sheer fun. And, you know, overall, like I said, this book, uh, I would give it three stars, which means I enjoyed it, but I don't know if I would put my reputation on it. Which for me is something because in the end it is an Aquaman book. And you know what I've been saying about Aquaman. But I have to be honest. I have to be honest with my feelings. And I do visceral reviews. I read it. I pick up the mic. So you get what happens in my head after I read it. That's that's my promise. So anyway, what did you think? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Or are, are you just thinking I'm nuts? That's fine. Let me know the reasons why in the comments below. Also, if you like this video, you want to see more, click like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything. By the way, this cover is awesome. I want this poster, by the way. Uh, also, this is the way I'm trying to make a living. So if you don't mind helping the channel out, go on over to Patreon. The link is in the description below. Drop a dollar in the till. What we're trying to do is get better equipment, a better computer, and uh, a better software to make better videos. I'd like, thank everybody who's already done that, and to everyone, all of the true believers, thank you very, very much for watching. Most futuristic shots you ever saw.